Oh no, we are there. <laughs> so, good evening. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. My name's Barry. And I'm Jay. And together we are Matisse Craft. Welcome to our channel. So this evening I'll be creating two cards featuring the online exclusive textured timber mixed with other Stampin' Up! products. Um, so yes, so if you'd love to see the demonstration, uh, if you're watching the replay, do fast forward. Um, as well, say hello to those of you who joined us live. Thank you so much. So, sorry. Uh, <coughs> before I start, uh, don't forget to add your comment uh, in our last Sunday's video for a chance to win this card that yes. barricaded. Now I have put a link in the top of the live chat, so if you would like to go back whilst we say hi to a few of you, then um, it is there. So, yes. Cool. So, hello, Bling to Bing Crafter Pat, Janelle, Cheryl, Charlotte, Nancy Amato, Be More Stamper, Seal, um, Lois, Vicky, Mary Lou, Karen, Dinette, Gian, hello, hello, uh, Debs, hiya, Debs, happy, happy birthday. birthday. Are you going to sing? No, she does, Deb does, really does not want me to sing. Did you get our card? <laughs> Did you get any post? Uh, Susan, hello. Uh, Pauline, Jackie, uh, Judy, Claire, uh, Claire, Elizabeth, Joe Scraft's Space, uh, Heather, Sandra. Marty, Shaz, ooh, Keisha, hello, hello, oh, and Tori, hi Tori, uh, Anna, Dazzle, Dazzle Craft with Janice, um, I always get tongue tied as well, <laughs> hi Janice, Barry was watching you, um, you're live earlier whilst we were Lovely prepping. project as well. So yes, so after our live, do check out Janice's uh, channel at Dazzle Dazzle craft with Janice. I'm sure if you just click on her name then it would you can go and click on view profile as well. So yeah. Uh Karen from Tilly Crafts, hello. Um John, Natty Hayes Crafts, Lolly and San, Sandy McCullough, hello to you. Bianca, Caroline, Maureen, Louise, and Panther Pops. Love that name. Panther Pops. Deb, sorry, no, it's not going to happen. Jay will sing for you. Jay's a very good singer. <laughs> right, anyway, shall we crack on? <laughs> yes. So let's pick the winner for the second card I did last Sunday, which is this one right here. Um, and then we will then crack on with the demonstration. So let's just put up the, the screen. Let's go over to that one right there. And the winner is going to be... Um, dun dun dun. Oh no, what do I need to put in? I need to put a number in. There we go. So, good luck, everyone. We have got Sati1955. Congratulations. So congratulations to you. All you need to do there, um, Sati1955, is email us, Barry and Jay, at matusucrafts.com. Please pop today's date, the 14th of April 2024, in the subject line and your full mailing address, and we will send that card to you. So we will send this one. You've won it. It's all yours. So um, congratulations to you. So we do send to the US, so it doesn't matter. So do please, um, do please contact us. So let's just remove that right there. I will hand you over to Jay where he will be creating something with this. So I've just got to battle with Tommy because he's laying between the two of us again. Come on. I just don't want him to fall off of you. Come on. I've got him. Oh, Tommy. And right. So yes, I'm just getting my markers up. <laughs> where is he? There. And my left one. So yes, textured timber, online exclusive. You can't uh, can't be found on any catalog. But as you can see, there's four cling design, 
and there's no sentiment. So I will be mixing it up with other products um, that either retiring or carrying over. I think mainly retiring <laughs> because last chance products up to 60% off uh, select items and they're only available while stock lasts. So check that out on our website quickly before you miss out. So I did think of mixing it up with the timeless arrangements uh, just because it's got sentiments and some die cuts. <laughs> and this one is actually one of my favorite because of the, the border you just add it or the border die cuts leavings you just add it behind each of those and you have your pre-made uh, topper with flourishes around so I think that would be a nice one I did bring out my texture uh, earthen textures as well but they're quite big and the uh, dice for this one is quite nice but again it's quite huge so that one so I, I don't think I'll probably use that one anyway let's get cracking Ooh, once I've done these <laughs> also uh, the gorgeous garden dies I believe that is 60% off in the UK so I have used it last Wednesday and um, I might as I might use it again we will see right so for the first card I'll just do something simple <laughs> simple ish. Ish. add the ish to the end add the ish Yes, simple-ish. That's your, um, your get-out. <gasps> ish Ooh. Right, so I did think early espresso, just because obviously it's um, wood, it's brown. <laughs> <laughs> so let's just get some cardstock. Our usual... 14 by 21, 8 and a quarter by 5 and a half. Let's just get that there. Then 0.5 or 418. And I think I already had a basic point, but I'll just cut some more. Uh, I'm just going to do it the same size as the card front for now because I'll be designing it with you. Right. Where? Where's my wood? I just had it there. So, early espresso, I'm going to stamp on a piece first to um, see how dark it is. This is, uh, I've been trying to do our catalogs. So, this is my <laughs> my draft print of the wish list. So if you want, um, if you live in the UK and you don't have a demonstrator yet, do contact us. Um, scan the QR co code for our shop, online shop already. But yeah. And we'll send you the annual catalog. Right, I'm just checking. I haven't actually inked this up. I just want to check how dark that early espresso is. Ooh, that's nice. Okay, second generation. And because we were discussing about the size of the catalog, this A4 is too long. 
so uh, I had to reprint it so it fits into the um, into the catalog so I had to use our revised measurements of a cardstock a combined measurements of US USA 4 <laughs> which is 28 centimeters by 21 centimeters. So yes, so um, I've done that. And I put, um, for our themies, I have put in a template. So if you'd love to um, share with your crafty friends, you can use that template as well. Right, I am gonna just do, shall I do middle? Yeah, let's go middle. One, two, three, four, five. Very textury. What's it called? Textured timber. And so we have, I really appreciate you. Ooh, what can we have? Thanks. <laughs> you make me smile. You are so kind. Lots of different things. You are so, where's the you are so kind? You are the best. Oh, here. I was like, I can't. And I just to make sure that I do have a matching die, um, yeah, die. That's gonna be too. Okay, I want it small. <laughs> I guess I can elongate that. That's only ninety percent. For being a friend. Thank you. Ooh, where's that thank you phone? Okay, we'll go with thank you. <laughs> and have some of this. We'll see. Right. Let's do some stamping on off cuts because I don't want to use up a, a full A6. That will fit. So, what goes with brown? Early espresso. Anything really green. Blue. <clears throat> Black for sentiment. <laughs> Is that running out? And I'm just going to do these. them I think I need another one so yes yeah, so uh, I'm using memento I haven't this I probably use um, early espresso at uh, early espresso stamping blends to color these and I got them right so we said green uh, old olive something warm I'm just gonna use light and dark so nothing too fancy but if you'd love to practice your Coloring with me, I do offer a coloring masterclass. And 
and more details is on our website shall I bring it up I will bring up the graphics in a sec there we go so yes so uh six months for the price of five scan that qr code you'll be taken to our website uh you get these charts and labels for free that's on the screen i have updated these to the 2024 to 2025 ones and they're already in the in the facebook group so if you are new in that group check out the file section because there's uh other things in there oh i've got another one there i've got that but if you if you don't want a six months membership we do offer the classes um on their own which you can book individually on our website as well plus the replays of the previous classes as well are on our website so green I think it's just green I might do these in uh, natural tones now I haven't updated my blends chart like my colored blends chart yet but I do have my old ones so brown 800 700 I think 6 and 5 would look nice or even the copper clay would look nice as well I'll go 6 and 5 six and five Whee! which is the medium combo natural tones right six and five tends to be darker again i'm just rushing this Ooh, six it looks darker but oh well Maybe it's just my blends. Mm -hmm. Any questions? Barry? So, um, no. There we go. Right, I'm just going to add green to that. Went over a bit, but hey ho. Probably a, another color would have been better for the shading of these 500. So six and five, I'll probably add a darker one, which is 400. Just, I can't just leave it. <laughs> I can't just leave it alone. Well, I have to like it like it as well don't I I guess so just ad added shading on some areas yes Suki daddy hasn't fed you has no, he? Just reminded me. good girl there we go right so we can just die cut that so I, I have got my big cut emboss machine but the dies from the timeless arrangements can fit the mini that one where are you no. 
one. And that one. Oh, it's there. <laughs> I was like, where did I put it? Right, stick this down. And where's everything? Hopefully these will stay in, but remember you have the hole to check your stamping is in place, but as you can see, um, well, I, I'm sure you don't really want to see my head too much. There we go. One down. I should really just stick it down as well. And of course, I do want some of my leafings. This one is my favorite. So I'm just gonna get What's darker than <clears throat> what's darker than old olive? She uh, pretty peacock. Oh, I do like pretty peacock. Maybe mossy meadow or garden green. Green goes. We'll go garden green. Hey Tommy, what are you doing? Hopefully not going behind me again. Don't give him <laughs> ideas. Right. Hi Sylvia. Hello Leanne. Where did you go? Where did it come from? And another one. Just in case I need it. Will you fit? <laughs> I'm trying to make it fit. Yeah, that fits. It doesn't matter about the, the backing. Right, let's construct the first part. <laughs> so we have my sentiment, loads of leafings, this one. So we do have other timber. I, do I want to add a frame? You know what? I'm going to. I was only gonna do two, but like two of the stamps. I'm stuck. There. That's not big enough, is it? So. I will add. So green, green. A lighter green. I just want kind of like, I guess, 
Uh, what should I call it? A border. I'm just eyeballing it. Obviously, it's um, red rubber, so you can't see through it unless you're a superhero. <laughs> X-ray vision. Ooh, that didn't stamp properly, but it adds to it. I quite like it. It doesn't look woody. It looks buzzy. Nah. <laughs> Buzz light here instead of woody. Anyway, right. Where's my car face? <laughs> Hi, Judy. I forgot I was gonna. It, that was the same length, but that's fine. So that's done. I'm just gonna quickly do these. So add those on. Where are we? Glue. That's what I need. both ends and then we can insert in between our colored pieces I'm just gonna cut off those Other two. Oh, actually, that's too much, isn't it? That's that one. And the other one down here. course you can add more I'm just I would have <laughs> but I'll leave it like that so that's that one I know it kind of like covers the wood but you can fill it up oh I still have these I will add it. I was thinking, oh, I can add it later on so I don't have to die cut, but that's fine. I'm all sticky. Anything else people are saying, Barry? Because I don't know. Kenzie has just asked me what's my favourite thing about card making. <clears throat> um, good question. <laughs> what? Can you hear card that? making what? Kenzie asked me what's my favourite thing about card making. Oh, I see. 
the community. Yes. Oh, wrong one. There we go. Right, I'm just gonna s stick this down. I was gonna add some more, um, like a ribbon across, but. I would have if I <laughs> trimmed this one, but hey ho. So that's done. I'm just going to add some of this. Dimensionals, that's what they're called. I forgot. Oh, instead of adding another one, I will just move that because <laughs> I'm stingy. Oh, no, maybe not. I will just add another one. There you go. Have an extra dimensional. <laughs> oh, I can I can add linen thread. That's a thing. See, it's still simplish, right? Please agree. If you don't, add, I'll, I'll add some more. <laughs> I'm joking. Maybe. <laughs> right, I want a big loop. Blue dot, blue dot. So I just looped it twice and I'm just gonna add that on a mini glue dot. Are you gonna stick? And then take that off and add that on. There. Did I just move that? And finish up with there. That loop is like too loopy. <laughs> and then might as well use the cork rounds which we have some more. So one, two, Ooh, let's go on top here. It looks a bit um, empty. There we go. That's my first card hiding the thing. Uh, Textured timber. <laughs> it's a hint. Well, you have the border it's there. there. It's, it's there. An accent, isn't yes, it? I do like it. There you go. Are we zooming tonight, Barry? Um, I think we can do. Yes. Yeah. Cool. So I'm just going to get the next one ready. Well, try and think for. <laughs> Let's put this away. So who's got the textured timber and have you used it? Because that was pretty much the first time I've used it. So the next one, I've got the long thing. And instead of, I'm gonna use Smoky Slate. So again, I'm gonna repeat stamp on the background. This piece is the same size as the card front. I will remember to trim it. Um, please remind me. <laughs> right. 
So this one is actually quite cool. Um, it's a long one, as you can see. It fits the size I. Actually, that first generation looks okay. I will do it first generation. And stamp. Horizontally, horizontal, horizontally. I'm going to ink up again, and then turn, and then just move my. No, 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 Minnie. <laughs> that wasn't Tommy this time either. Uh... That was Minnie. I could see her in the corner of my eye. <laughs> you had Suki as well. Yeah. So, All right, if I do it that way. Again, I'm, I'm guessing where the end of the other piece is, but if it slightly overlaps, it doesn't matter because it kind of like gives you that line. So to reminds you, uh, it reminds me of like a wood, like wood planks. So I'm just repeating the process. Changing like left and right as well. So then the, those eyes, the wood, wooden eyes aren't in the same location, I guess. So final one. Hello, my incoming cat. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hello, Elaine. <laughs> Sorry, I, I just remembered um, what I told you where we went. <laughs> it rocked our time. Uh, I'm not going to repeat it. <laughs> Well, you know, I was just thinking of you yesterday, actually, Elaine. I was looking at our magnet and started chuckling to myself. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so yes, so Barry's been um, reminding me of that. <laughs> oh, wrong one. Right, card front, card base. Some more white, why not? White not. Oh, I was like, did I just cut it? No, I did not. And I will try, I will cut these off. So I'm just gonna take this down five mil, three sixteenth of an inch, just so it's smaller than the card front. But um, it's, it's only, so, so it will hide, it will hide, it will be hidden, <laughs> it will hide uh, with the layer on top that I'm going to add. There we go. Hi Janice! So... Enough, the stamp set retires, you can use a country wood DSP. Yes, so that's that. And what next? Did I okay? I haven't cleaned my stamps, I will do that later. So that was the idea. Uh, <laughs> that's where I got up to, and then. We have another piece that's going to be the full size of that. And this time I have an adhesive sheet. Actually, I was going to use 
a different colored piece. Green. Let's go. So we did garden greening. We'll do old olive, which is regal. I was just gonna do it white, but then I want it to stand like I want this to stand out a little bit. 14. And 10.5. I could have used, was there a green? I think Lost Lagoon. I could have used the shimmer paper to make it look shimmery, but I think it won't work well with the wood um, effect. So the gorgeous, where are you? Where's all the, that? So you have, Ooh. how do I get you out? The gorgeous garden dies. Is this still available? Can you double check, Barry? I'm. Sh I double checked it the other day, and it was fine. Gorgeous garden dies. Yes. There we go. Any more? For any more? There. Gorgeous garden dies. Yes, they are available, and they are twenty-four pounds down from forty. Cool. So great savings to be had. Now, what did I say? I had, I had a adhesive sheet somewhere. Only my desk knows. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> because that's a song, isn't it? Somewhere only we know. But um, with craft supplies, it's only some. Like just your desk knows. So at the back, this is adhesive sheet. It's double sided. Um, I cut it to size, but I haven't used this for a while. Oh, I can't. I've got a pick tool, I'm not using it. So take off the backing. Oh, no. Oh, just like what? Well, I'm just going to add it on. I'm sure that's not how you're meant to use it, but it will still work. It doesn't have to be edge to edge. Can I take it off like that? There you go. So if you take off one side, place it on I was just being silly but because it's a full sheet anyway it doesn't matter if you have gaps right so I'm just gonna make sure that is burnished properly burnish baby burnish <laughs> <laughs> didn't work Right, so for this die cut, I'm just going to cut that in. That's going to be at the front. And any more die cuts that I want. Neutrals. Ooh, pecan pie. Yes, I think the older one, Charlotte, um, I'm sure it was the older one that was a full 
six by 12 sheet. Okay, I'm gonna do that last because um, <laughs> it's probably gonna be messy. That one, yeah. So I'll use the same dice. Are you gonna be? Yeah, I think it'll be fine. Pecan pie. I'll do a couple of those. And then maybe add a darker shade of brown oh you're not you're way off there we go it's a green brown do i have a shimmer I might find a shimmer. Lost lagoon work. Yeah, it's greeny. So that one is the soft shimmer specialty paper that's going as well. What other ones have we got? Wrong one. Mm. Nope, I'll keep to the same ones because I've already got it. Liquid too. Because it's a um, non shed glimmer, just it does need a bit more care of taking off. Just be careful that you don't pull it off, like I've nearly just done. It did cut it, it's just still a bit stubborn. There you go. And last one for this bit. Okay, Vicky. Right, do I need to cut? something was that the same one as the first card I don't even know where I put my first card yes I'm just gonna die cut a bigger one for the sentiment So I, I've already got it cut. 
I don't know what I'm gonna stamp on it, but it's there. Thank you, Bianca. Before I mess up my table even more with all of these. I've lost my seat. I've, I stood up and guess who's on it. Alrighty. Right. Please stay. I can't find, oh, I found it. So because it's gonna be the same as the card front, I wanted to keep it, ooh, <laughs> keep its place, but move it. Don't move it. Is that okay? Hey, Tommy. Are you going to share my seat or your seat? So it's slightly tighter because of the adhesive sheet, but it still goes through. I was cutting it at, on its side. So just double check that it has kind of like solid lines around i think that's got it come on tommy no you need to sit down or well, i need to sit down oh i can do that all right where's my Hell, no. <laughs> I'll use my pick tool then. Hopefully, it has cut. Oh, it has cut. Okay. Oh, it's just been. If you, uh, if I lift it, I think it's just um, loosens it a little bit more. But I'm keeping it in the die for now. So that's all gone. And I'll just poke poke through the rest. There you go. So there is a lot of um off cards or excess. With this die, <clears throat> you can do some press and seal if you want to. It's quite a lot of pieces to be paper piecing, to be fair. But it's big enough, better than the f die that I chose when I did the press and seal technique. Anyone remember that? or you've um, tried to erase it from your memory, please do. We should get a hamster. You can do it. It's always me that does it. Yay. Right. Let us finish up. Ooh, that's moved. So I've got my die cuts elements i'll just fin finish taking this off and tommy's paring away so the only thing with doing the adhesive sheet at the back of this die is you can't raise it which i think would look nice but I wasn't gonna add oh you I guess you can die cut with foam adhesive sheets 
but that one will be a lot harder because it's a detailed die and a lot thicker the sheet uh the uh, foam even it does squish down there we go Is sticky okay. so because it's in three sheets you just need to obviously find those carefully carefully <laughs> I'm rushing That looks nice. I guess you don't have to take off every single thing, but it, it, it it's sticky, so you might as well, <laughs> might as well. go oh two more just make sure cats are away Tom is right behind me Suki's on Barry's lap no, I've lost her. oh you've lost her already well and Minnie's on a stamp in a box so that Edge to edge. Flip it down. Hope for the best. There you go. Or you make sure your block is clean. Now we can stamp a sentiment, which is where, right, what fits? Thank you, Fitz. <laughs> I really appreciate you. That fits. Or we, I in the plural form from me and Barry, I guess. <laughs> Da, 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 da. So don't forget, uh, we do tidy and chat after the live. The Zoom link is on top. Do save it now if you'd like to join us. No crafting, just tidying and chatting amongst yourselves mainly because I'm too busy tidying or making some more projects. <laughs> Whilst Barry cooks dinner. Right. See that that works with the green. That's nice. And then with the brown as well. Yeah. Let's go with that. So again the same principle. It's the same layout, so I'm just gonna keep it as is and then insert some underneath afterwards. Did I do two of that? Yes, I did. Or there's two, three other flourishes, leafings in the timeless arrangements is that what it's called yet yeah. so you could always use those but as i said this is my favorite so i'm gonna use this one 
It could be the last time I use it. <laughs> right. I'm sure I had another one. Did I die cut two? No, I think I died cut one. Let's check. Yeah, I did do two. Where did you put it, Kyra? <laughs> Huh? Well, who else can I blame? I'm not gonna blame myself. I'm sure it turned out. Not one. Oh, it's there, see? Right in front of me. So, you can cut it down. Love it. Now, I should have really stamped some wood textures as well in there, but I forgot. <laughs> Bye, Bianca. Bye, Bianca. Let's add these pieces. Oh, you're too big. I can I can see the edge. Press and hold. Press and hold. Three more. I shouldn't really do it in front. And then I can just insert the, ooh, see, that's why you need to press and hold. What can I put underneath? Any ribbon request? <laughs> Twine? Jutei? Jutei is carrying over. I do have another one of these. All right, I just wanna see where I can add this. There, okay. To the left. That is done again, dimensional, dimensional. So I should really put four, seeing as <coughs> I added four last time, and this one's bigger. Okay, I will add four. Go. And. Can I add a vellum underneath? Ooh. Okay. I will. Vellum is going. Um, it, it may have actually already gone. <laughs> it may have already gone, but I love vellum. How big do I need you? Maybe one and I'll do two inches. Tear it off. Slightly harder to tear than normal card uh, DSP. Uh, 
but it does give a nice edge. So I had the first one on the bottom, so I'm going to put this on top, but that one's going to go in first. So I know where I'm going to add the glue. Just make sure you are there. If that's right. No, <laughs> it's so wonky. Embrace the wonk, I guess. That'll have to do. Right, I've got a piece of glue there. That's not coming off. There. Right, nearly done. I do have this. Some more. No. It's to same color. It's to the same, even to same color. What is that? I'll leave it like that. Okay. So finish up. I'm just gonna add glue across. Stick this down. Make sure it's straight or as straight as it can be. See, how did that move? I'm sure it wasn't. And then some embellishments to finish up. What have we got left? Let's go sequins. Gold, we'll go gold. Pretty much around the same area. <laughs> no, I'm gonna hide you. I do like hiding. <laughs> no. And a small one. Oh, I have two. Oh no, the two sheets because it's two different uh, sizes. Could have added more. Oh wow! Just go in. Anything else it needs? I think. I think that's okay. It's missing a ribbon or a twine, or baker's yeah, linen thread. But I will leave that there. It is quarter past eight. <laughs> Thanks so much for staying. But that's the two cards. Barrett's gonna come over. Um, it's quite earthy colors, I guess. Earthy. earthy. Very nice. I did do um, like a background. So using the same technique as the one at the back here in pecan pie and then lightly ink blend pecan pie again on top but i thought um maybe i'll save that for another project but i wanted to sh show you that anything else funfold friday funfold friday yes <clears throat> there is funfold friday so rotating pop-up so if you haven't seen it yet it's on the channel barris created two videos one for the mechanism and one for decorating 
So this one uses the happy little things and the irresistible blues. Hello, irresistible DSP. And on the inside, whee, you have the hearts and hugs bundle from the upcoming 2024 to 2025 annual catalog. So yes, check that out if you'd love to create one for yourself. I'm probably gonna make one soon and use up some re retiring um, bundles as well that we haven't used yet. Yes, so I have just um, posted in the chat, I pinned it at the top, the links to that um, Fun Fold Friday. So if you would like to watch it, then you can do. It's easy enough there for you. I'm just to add in a few more last minute names quickly. Because I didn't give you. So just quickly, just fill some time for me. Just I just don't have anything please. else to show. Yeah. Um, because they're all on top. So yes, so on Wednesday, if you didn't see the video for this one, using the Happy Little Things Gorgeous Garden, as well as Lovely and Sweet. We shared that on our social um, today. And this one was the original for Global Design Project Challenge. But yes, there's Lovely. another video for that as well. Excellent, so we have got the wheel. I'm doing a different wheel Ouch. today. So if you've left us a name, a comment, then hopefully you're, I've, hopefully I've picked you up and your name should be in here. So today's winner is going to be... Good luck, everyone. <clears throat> and the winner is... Dun, dun, dun. We have got Charlotte. Congratulations, Charlotte. Look, we've got f f confetti and everything going on. <laughs> <laughs> You should have seen Barry's hand movement. <laughs> <laughs> so just um, for reference, please share it. If you can just email us to start, when I do the postage, I um, know who I'm sending to. Um, Barry and Jay at matusucrafts.com. Just please um, drop us an email. And um, with today's date, the 14th of April 2024 on the subject line, and we will pop that card to you, Charlotte, in the post. So there we have it. What's a bit bright, isn't it? Let's turn that one off. There we go. I like that one. Yes. So, that's good. So, well done. Beautiful card. So, I'll oh, have you just really <laughs> done it as well. What you were chatting. Right. Okay. Well, I'll do it again. <laughs> so, you can see some stuff that's popping up down on the bottom of the screen right here. So, do that, that, and whatever. Yes. <laughs> Well, we will say goodbye. Do come over and join us over on Zoom and um, we will say hi to you whilst Jay tidies up this mess. Cool. Thanks we'll so much, everyone. Soon. Take care. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.